Today on Mormon Times, when modesty takes a backseat to fashion. In our world today, it's probably harder for some girls because they want to be in and wear the newer things, and sometimes the newer things aren't always modest. How to talk with your teen about this timely topic, three important lessons parents should keep in mind. Tender personal stories from a new Christmas keepsake. Get a glimpse into how our Latter-day prophets celebrated the holidays. And pop star phenom turned Mormon tabernacle tenor, Alex Boyer shares his inspiring conversion story and songs of the season, right here on Mormon Times. Good morning and welcome to Mormon Times. I'm Kathy Aiken. It's a topic that's been discussed time and time again, modesty. In fact, Elder Robert D. Hales has said, modesty is not just a church tradition, but is in fact fundamental to being worthy of the spirit. But do today's young women understand the importance and meaning of modesty? Mormon Times correspondent Brooke Walker found some answers. I think that being modest means that you wear clothes that um, you'd be comfortable standing next to Jesus Christ in. We teach it, preach it, and applaud it. The message of modesty is a timeless one and a topic often fashioned toward teenage girls. But in this day and age where lower, tighter, and shorter seems to be the statement styles, what do real young women think of modesty in this modern age? In our world today, it's probably harder for some girls because they want to be in and wear the newer things, and sometimes the newer things aren't always modest. I recently pumped a panel of teens for their take on the topic of modesty, what it means, and why it matters. Does how you dress affect how people view you? Definitely. Yeah. Power. Well, I think that if you're dressing modestly, then it portrays confidence because you're not trying to prove something to others, I guess. Encouraging to note these girls all agree dressing modestly is cool. To feel good about yourself and the way you dress. But it's also tough. Swimsuits is kind of hard. Dance dresses, like going oh, yeah. shopping for dance dresses, because you see all these way cute ones, but they have something wrong with them, so you just can't get them. And I think when you're modest, you just have that so much more confidence. Local designer Jill Grover says it's a need the fashion world is responding to. This spring, she introduced a new product called Molly's, an underskirt legging that keeps you covered. Response has been overwhelmingly positive. They give you a cute little sneak peek if you just see a little bit of it poking out from your skirt. It feels, it's just kind of a fun thing. Manager of Downey's Clothing, Samantha Alkema, says one of their store's top sellers is an undershirt camisole. They are meant to cover up when you bend over, when you're just walking around. You don't have to tug on them. They just stay there and they're meant to be comfortable for you to feel comfortable in the item that you're wearing. It's a fashion movement these girls appreciate. There are definitely mm -hmm. lots of cute ways that you can cover up but still be in style. They also are grateful for the examples of others. Well, if all your friends have a testimony of being modest and they dress modestly, then everyone wants to fit in with their friends and so it motivates you to dress like they do. For at-home enforcement. When I go shopping, like my mom is there a lot of the times, so I'm like, mom, is this modest? And she's like, uh, it might be a little too short on the sleeves or, or something. So she helps me a lot with that. And for continued emphasis on a subject they say can't be discussed enough. Even though like some people might feel that we focus on it too much, look how much we already focus on it and so many people, even people that do focus on it every Sunday when they come to church still have the problem. Mm -hmm. Brooke Walker joins us now. What an impressive group of young women. Oh, aren't they great? I was so touched by their comments and their feedback. And I have to tell you, they have a strong sense of, of their values and a strong sense of their testimonies. They're not afraid to, to show it and to share it. What did you take away most from the interview with, the, with those women? You know, there were a few takeaways, actually, some, re some repeating themes that I think parents could probably learn something from. I know I did, just listening to them. The first was to start young. The girls were so appreciative of parents who instilled 
the concept and the belief of modesty in them at at a very they young age. They said, you know, when I'm learning this, when I'm five and I'm six and I'm seven, it doesn't become as hard of a decision to make when I'm older, when I'm 13, when I'm 14, when I'm 15. And the church is supporting parents in teaching this principle. In the May edition of The Friend of, of this year, there was actually this cute little printout that you can download for free and print out and hang in your, your young daughter's room or even your son's room. It says, respect yourself. And there's a checklist that includes, you know, basic questions like, are my shoulders covered? Are my knees covered? Things that will help instill those those principles and that idea of modesty at a young age. That is fantastic. And having all boys, I think it's important that the young men also try to support the young women and show them that as well. Absolutely. The girls emphasized they were grateful for um, praise, positive praise they were able to receive from others. So whether it's young women leaders on Sunday complimenting the length of their skirt or whether it's dates, you know, on a high school dance night, the dates complimenting their wardrobe and their dress choice as well. They also were grateful for an open dialogue between parents, between leaders, between friends. So maybe don't wait until, until that, you know, prom dress shopping adventure before you bring up the topic of modesty or don't wait until swimsuit season. Make it, make it an open part of, of your daily dialogue so it can be instilled in their heads and in their hearts. And again, just praise the positive as you, as you see these young women making good choices. Let them know you're grateful for those choices and that will encourage them to continue to make those good choices down the road. And it even it showed in your package, I think more and more places are giving or allowing modest clothing in their in their wardrobe. It used to be years ago, you couldn't find anything like this. You had to sew or alter or exactly. make you know drastic adjustments for it to be modest. But yeah, a lot of clothing companies recognizing the need for more modest clothing and the desire for more modest clothing. And the girls are grateful for that. They say a few layers, you know, can only add to the fashion and still you know make, make me feel covered up and protect the modesty. And you have one more tip: praise the positive. Praise the positive. Yeah, just emphasizing again the need to really reinforce force the positive choices the girls are making. You can't, you can't, I can't emphasize that enough. They were so grateful for, again, dates, young women leaders, even mothers of dates, they said, who would often compliment their wardrobe choices for, you know, for high school formals, dances, prom, that kind of a thing. So just reinforce the good choices these girls are making because they are great girls with a overall a desire girls. to yes, do good. That is so true. Brooke, great reminders for this topic. Thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate My pleasure. It. With Thanksgiving now behind us, it's time to turn on the Christmas music. That God is going to lead the way, and I pray all Up Christmas next, singing sensation Alex Boyer will join us. And how do Latter-day Prophets celebrate Christmas? Finding the real joy of the season comes not in the hurrying and the scurrying to get more done. A new Christmas keepsake full of tender stories about our beloved leaders, both past and present, and how they spent their holiday seasons.